day today Jersey Shore got canceled man I gotta tell y'all uh, when this first when this show first came out I was one of the people that I guess had seen the previews of commercials for it and it was just like what is this fucking corny bullshit like people are raving over this shit like what the fuck is this right so um one day I'll never forget it. never forget it. I was getting ready I had to get a shower and my girl was coming down, and we were going to go somewhere. I forgot where we were going, right? And I said, all right, look, babe, I'm about to jump in the shower. Um, no, no, this is what happened. I was waiting for her to come down, right? So when I was waiting for her, I started watching Jersey Shore because I didn't have shit to do. I got hooked like a motherfucking minnow. <laughs> I got hooked, all right? Like a guppy, like a fucking shark. I just, I just couldn't believe how hooked I was on this motherfucker. I like a tuna in a big ass net. I was caught. These motherfuckers were so funny to me. I was like, nah, they're not doing this. They're not like from. I'm gonna go through the whole crew. All of them had me cracking up. And I was just like, this is fucking in, insane that I'm hooked. I remember I watched what first. It was one of them, you know, on Sundays, it was Sunday. You know, on them Sundays where MTV runs a marathon episodes, that's exactly what it was. And I'm sitting down, I watched one. I said, I gotta see what happened in this next one. Then I watched the next one, right? My girl got there and I said, look, I gotta jump in the shower. I'm sorry. I ain't get ready yet, right? She was like, you watching this fucking corny bullshit? Watch it. I was in the shower about 15 minutes. When I got out, I said, all right, babe, I'm almost done. Let's, we gonna go. She was like, I wanna see what happens next. I was like, yeah, you see that shit? We was talking shit on this fucking show, ain't even see it, judging the book by its cover, and we was hooked. And, um, you know, I, I know there's plenty of y'all that feel it's garbage anyway, you know what I mean? No matter what you thought was garbage from the beginning, um, it was, very controversial. A lot of, you know, Italians just said that's not real Italians, and we don't all act like that. Now y'all know what it fucking feels like. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, I definitely knew that's not how all Italians act. I grew up around Italian kids. I know different Italian kids. I already know. Anybody that thinks that from their TV experience, this is all how people act, you need to rethink yourself. I almost want to say you're stupid. Sometimes people just are ignorant and they don't want to think for themselves. But yeah, I know that's only a subsection of Italians. So anyway, I start watching the show. Guess who got me watching the show? In particular, Mike. Mike is off the fucking hook. Mike's fucking crazy. <laughs> He's the, he has got to be the mo one of the most arrogant, conceited, <laughs> um, fucking uh, insecure just motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. He's like a train wreck. I could not not watch him. I don't know if this is a personality he made for the show, if he is really like this, but god damn situation. I do like that that he coined that term like that. I do like that. Um, he's doing his thing. I mean, if anything, he's a business man. So whatever. Um, Paulie, I always loved Paul. Paulie was almost like the, he was all around even dude. He was the dude. He didn't start no fucking shit. He he was he was always joking. He had a good time. That's how he was. You know what I mean? I could definitely hang with him. Plus he's a DJ. Get the party rocking. You know what I'm saying? Um, Vinny was cool. Vinny's kind of like the uh, he was kind of a little introvert type. You know, he's kind of shy. Didn't really step to girls. I used to be like Vinny, so I definitely. Um, you know, can 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 get with that. Like, you know, he could be my boy anytime. He, he wasn't a troublemaker neither. Fuck Mike. I can't hang with Mike. Mike, I could see you at a party and be like, all right, cuz, yeah, do your thing. And I'm going the other way because he's a magnet for drama. I could hang with Ronnie too. I like Ronnie. He's not like the cool, laid back muscle head, you know what I'm saying? Um, I liked him. I ain't had no problem with him whatsoever. He, he he got amped a little bit too much, you know what I mean? He got in, you know, got in fights and shit, but um, 
But one thing with Ronnie, he's too fucking sensitive. I have never met a dude that's sensitive. And if he was, I didn't know it. You could... <laughs> shit. You want to see me crying on national television like that? Multiple episodes crying over that girl. No way whatsoever. It wouldn't happen, right? Now, let's get to the girls. Uh, Angelina... You know what? I always thought Angelina looked good. But, I don't know for the way it was cut together or whatever, but her personality just it don't seem to mix with anybody. Like, even though they're a bunch of crazy motherfuckers on the show, and got, they got their own issues, for some reason she didn't... I don't know, man. She, but I always thought she looked good. I thought she was straight, but she just her personality just ah. So, guess she was out after that. What, what was it, second or third season they brought her? I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, you got Angelina. Then you got Snooky. Snooky's crazy. She's fucking, fucking nuts. And she, her man, that's opposites attract right there. Cause she's real. Yo, he's real like calm, real even tone. Seems like a real nice guy. But she is. There's no way she's borderline whore. I'm sorry to say she's borderline whore the stuff that she has done on that fucking show. I'm sorry, Snook, if you see this. You're cool, but the shit, a lot of the shit you did was, man, I would have walked out on you too if you were showing your ass and all that shit in the club too. It wouldn't have been me. Jay Wow, she looks good, she's in great shape. But I don't know what is she smoke? Why what is with her voice being that deep? She almost kinda sounds a little tranny. I don't know if she smokes or what. But she seems pretty cool, but she fights too fucking much. Too fucking much. She is too fucking ghetto, too fucking whatever you wanna call it, trash, whatever. She's wild. I couldn't bring her out. She come out, she don't look the part. She looks better than she acts. Too much fucking fighting. Too much fucking attitude. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But she helped make for a great show. So does Snooki. Just like the, the rest of the fellas do. Um, then you got Dina. Dina came on later, of course. And Dina, I was, what was funny was I was friends with Dina on MySpace. Back with MySpace, everybody would, like, people would just go in and click chicks that they thought looked good, and if they accepted them as a friend, they accepted them. You know what I mean? That's how it is. You would just, a lot of people just see how big they could build their list of friends or whatever. And I remember, I remembered because when there was a news clipping that came out that was, like, new member to the Jersey Shore, and I was like, why does that girl look so familiar to me? And one day, I think I had seen, like, either a post or I was going through my friends, and I was like, oh, shit! That's why she looked familiar. She catches the best angles on her MySpace page. I don't know where her Facebook, whatever. But I was like, this bitch don't even look like she doing her pictures on MySpace because she looked way better on MySpace than she did in person. But Dina, so her personality went, you know, she, she you know, she, she, she could be good looking when she wanted to. And she was real cool. I could hang with Dina. You know, she was no problem. She's fucking too wild too. All them lesbianic episodes and all that shit. Nothing against lesbians, but she's wild. I couldn't go out with a chick like that. Her or Snooky, two peas in a pod. You know what I mean? Holiday in a glass or blast in a glass, whatever that is, shit she was saying. And last we got Sammy. Now, Sammy, I think to all fellas, to almost all the fellas that watch this show, she is the best choice. She the best choice to go out with, period. Um she she looked good and she always carried herself as a lady so she she acted up a couple times at the club though she got in the fight but she was cool you know what i mean everything about her was mild she wasn't wild and when she was with her dude she was about it nah you know what though in the first season when she was like in mike and she went straight to ron i thought that was real fucked up and sitch was hurting on that shit. his face go back and watch that first season he his feelings was fucking hurt, man. So, anyway, that's all I got to say. I think I got everybody right. I, you know what I mean? Then you got the side cast, like the unit and, um, you know, Roger, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I thought they was cool. You know, um, I had no uh, problems with them. Um, unit seems like he'd be funny to hang around with. Like, probably drama follows him like it follows Mike. But, anyway, I know a few people that know them, too. And they said they... They're pretty cool people. They, they ain't really like that. 
but they they do say uh, situation is kind of wild. Like he's anyway, I ain't gonna get into all that. You know what I mean? The, the, this this is taking too long, but I knew it was coming. I knew the cancellation was coming because last season I was just like. I, I, didn't I missed a few episodes because I was just like, I didn't give a damn. But hey, they had they run, they did well, they made their mark in history, on society, t TV, television, history, and everything. They did their thing. They helped MTV achieve their record breaking stats and, 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 and profit and all that stuff. So hey, hats off to y'all. Y'all did your thing. American Dream, you know what I'm saying? So Styro Magnus signing off, y'all. Tell me what y'all think about the cancellation of the Jersey Shore.